The Lava Tablet Manager, or LTM for short, is an application that is installed on the mobile device to be used with our eSync or ESTS adapters. LTM allows the adapter's RBM technology to work. The app lets you configure these advanced features, including battery modulation and network recovery, which extend the lifespan and reliability of the mobile device. The LTM app can be installed in two ways. It comes as part of the Lava software release package, which also includes a copy of the installation manual for your E-Series adapter. Alternatively, it can be downloaded directly from the Google Play Store. The app in the software release package is designated as LTM version 4, and the Play Store version is LTM version 5, but they are, in fact, identical, except for the package name. Make sure you don't install both versions on your mobile device, as this will cause conflicts. This video will look at how to install the LTM app from the Lava software release package. First, go to the web link in the description for the Lava software release package. There are separate zip files for the eSync and ESTS adapters, so make sure you click on the right link. It will be located in the software release package folder in My Files on your mobile device. Extract the files using the extraction tools that are freely available. If you extract the files on a PC, the LTM APK file will need to be transferred to the mobile device. Since the app is not being installed from the Google Play Store, you will need to allow the mobile device to install apps from unknown sources. To do this, open the Settings menu on the mobile device and tap on Biometrics and Security. On the next screen, choose Install Unknown Apps. This will allow you to give access to a variety of sources for installing apps. Make sure whichever app you want to use to install the app is toggled on. Next, locate the LTM APK file. It will be located in the Software Release Package folder in My Files on your mobile device. If you downloaded the package from a mobile web browser, it should be in your Downloads folder. When you've found it, tap on the LTM APK file to open and sideload it. Once LTM has been installed on your device, you will receive a pop-up message providing the option to open the application. Tap Open. When you open LTM for the first time, you will receive a pop-up message requesting permission for LTM to access photos and media on your device. Tap Allow to grant permission. You will then receive an LTM startup pop-up, which will automatically direct you to the configuration settings. Tap OK to continue. LTM 4 can be installed directly over top of LTM 3 and earlier versions. You will also be given the option to import a legacy configuration file which contains the settings that were previously used. If this is a fresh installation of LTM, you will receive a pop-up that says the configuration has not been found. Tap OK. In the next menu, go into General Settings to set the product family and protection type. The product family corresponds with the type of LTM Simul Charge adapter you are using. In other words, eSync or ESTS. The protection type is determined by the mobile device. For a list of mobile devices and their suggested protection types, select the link in the protection type menu. Incorrectly setting the product family or protection type can lead to serious operational issues. In the Ethernet settings menu, make sure Ethernet enabled is toggled on if your E-Series Simul Charge adapter has Ethernet connectivity, and it's toggled off if it doesn't. This menu also allows you to adjust how network recovery mode operates, but we recommend leaving it at its default settings. The LTM app also lets you modify battery modulation settings. But once again, the defaults should be sufficient in most instances. Once you're satisfied with your configured settings, tap Apply in the top right corner of the screen. Then, tap the arrow in the top left corner of the screen to return to the LTM home screen. Now tap on the three dots at the top right corner of the screen and choose Force to Background to make LTM run in the background. Congratulations! You have now successfully completed the LTM setup and are ready to use your E-Series Simulcharge adapter.